All right, here we are starting another new computer art tutorial. What we're going to be doing today is taking a photo and turning it into a pointillist picture. So pointillism was an art style that came after Impressionism. And basically what it was was artwork composed of a series of a lot of tiny dots. So we're going to take a photo of a landscape and turn it into a pointillistic looking painting essentially, a digital painting. So what we're going to start with doing is actually looking up an image here online and what we're looking at here is a well-known famous example of pointillism by a man named Surratt and this example I would like you to go ahead and try and look up. If you look up pointillism it will probably be one of the first things to come up for a Google search. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to save this image as I'm just going to save it on my desktop and I'll call it pointillism. That works. Now I'm going to go ahead back over to Photoshop. I'm going to go file open and go to my desktop and find my pointillism picture and open it. And then we will go ahead and look for an image that we want to use to add this style to. I started up looking uh, for a search of some nice landscapes of Switzerland, a place on my bucket list of places to go. Very beautiful place. So I think I was down to these two images here. I think I'm going to go with this one on the left here. and I'm going to copy this image Something I always tell my students while we do this kind of stuff in class is that obviously borrowing other people's images for learning is okay, but if you really want to get into this as a business, got to use your own photos. But here we go, going into this tutorial. Um, so now what we want to do is we are actually going to go to image at the top and we want to look for adjustments and we want to go down to match color. What we're going to use in this match color uh, feature is we're going to change the source of our colors to coming from this other image that we have open, pointillism2. Um, so it's going to take the color scheme from this image and apply it to this photo. Pretty neat little thing there. So um, now we have colors more reminiscent of this time period. Um, the luminance at 100, color intensity at 100, fade at 0 is probably where we want to leave this. And I'll go ahead and say OK. So now that we have a good color scheme here for pointless style painting, um, we're going to do a copy of this layer. And so we could hit Command J, we could right click and go duplicate layer and just say OK, layer 1 copy. And what we're going to do on this top layer actually is add the pointillism effect, but we'll do that in a minute. Layer 1 right now we want to add more of a filter that's going to make it look like it's painted. So we're going to go to the filter gallery here. Um, if we open up our artistic folder by clicking on the arrow next to it, we can choose from some different paint type options. We got this dry brush here, paint dabs, and you can change some of these options too and play with them. Uh, play with the size of things, the sharpness, um, to get it to look like a painting. Um, I think I like the paint daubs one. Dry brush one is a good one too, um, but feel free to play around with some of the others. This looks good for what I want it to do. I can't see those changes right now because it's on layer one, not layer one copy, which is above it. So if we turn this off, you can see it underneath it. But now we're going to add another filter to this top layer here. So layer one copy, we're going to go to filter. We're going to go down to pixelate. And in there, we'll find an option to pointillize. And you got a lot, bunch of other stuff in here, too. It's fun to play with. But for this option, or for this project, we're just going to go with this one, pointillizing. So now you can see what this is going to look like with the cell size here. So if you zoom out. Um, in your preview window here. So I might turn this cell size down to 5. Let's see. Because uh, I still want to be able to make out the image even though it's pointillized. Maybe I'll go down to 3. And let's see if I get any difference with 2. Not really. But we have that image underneath it. So I'm going to leave it at 3 and see what we have here. So now we have this pointillized image. Um, I feel like I want to 
make sure that this layer actually might want to get transparent a little bit so that it layers over the layer underneath it. There we go. I might turn that down to about 50% or so. And then that way I can see the kind of underpainting still underneath it. That's behind it. And then the pointillizing effect is layered on top. So there we end up with kind of this nice pointillized style painting like those of the post-impressionists. And that's all we have for this uh, particular computer art tutorial. So I hope you have some fun and learn some things about picking up uh, different filters and adding them to photos.